Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel for another mod showcase review. And today we are going to be going over the Dark Souls mod. We're going to be going over the armors added in the new blocks, ores and mobs as well. Before we get into that though guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and then slap that like button. It really helps me and the channel out and it really is just nice to see you guys supporting the channel to be honest. So, let's get on with this mod. Now, this mod, as I was saying, is the Dark Souls mod, and it adds 16 new types of armor. Three pieces of additional armors that you won't see out now. There are 42 types of weapons, and the mod adds in nine kinds of bosses. Some new tools, new mobs, new structures, biomes, and adds a new workbench in for crafting boss weapons as well and the additional five biomes which we will be taking a look at some of them currently we are in one of the biomes right now so this mod doesn't have its own wiki page for you to go into and learn about this mod so you kind of have to do it on the fly and that is why i feel it really needed a mod showcase one because to help you guys out and it's an amazing mod as well Currently, it only has 3,785 downloads, which is very minuscule for the detail and amount added in this mod. I, for one, with the weapons, think they look amazing. So these are all the weapons you will find in the mod, and they look fantastic for such a, well lesser known mod I guess you could say it's not a little mod there's quite a lot in it uh, I was corrected on that in another mod showcase it's a lesser known mod it has phenomenal detail so if we take a look at some of these as of my favorite weapons so let's grab this guy oh no I can't grab him out uh, there there's one there's the hammer I love the hammers the axes and the clubs in this they just look awesome Okay, so this is what they look like on me. Yep, they are great. And some of these you can craft, some of them you can't. Uh, one of the new items added into the mod is the shard, which is obtained from destroying one of the mobs in this mod. Now, as earlier saying, there are some mob boss weapons that you, like this one, can only get when killing its related boss. But a lot of these weapons you can craft, you just need the shards and join the shards together to create the larger shards, which yet again I just dropped from mob bosses as well. Dragon Tooth, which is awesome. Um, just look at the size of this flipping thing, it's mad. It is, it's epic. So the weapons in this mod are, I've got to give them an 8 out of 10, they, they just look phenomenal. Now, the suits of armor, some of them are very generic, but then you get ones like this. This is the Dark Knight, if I remember correctly. Oh, over there we have some ghosts chilling around us. Now, I think these armors are very good. There is some work to be done on them, I will say. But overall, I like them a lot. Um, yeah, good, good rating on the armors for me. Let's get some of these out and try them on. Let's go over to here. Lovely stuff. I think they look epic. Yes, this is the Dark Knight armor set. Yep. It looks awesome. It looks sick. I love it. And with the Dragon Tooth as well, it looks even better. So, those are the armor sets. You are going to need to craft them with some ores. Um, so, the new ores added in. We have some steel ingots. We have some poisonous ingots. We have silver bars. We have fire ingots. And we have, oh, where is it? Brass and ancient ingots and Lothric metal as well. You're going to use some of this to craft some of these armor sets, but most of these are going to be dropped by mob bosses. Well, here you go. This is how to craft the brass set. That one is grabbed from a mob boss. Here's how to craft the dragon slayer one. You're going to need a piece of titanite, which is obtained from killing one of the bosses and yeah it overall i love i do really enjoy a lot of these suits of armors 
Now we take a quick look at some of the blocks in this mod as well. So here we have some of the ores in the mod which I just went over with you and then some of the other additional blocks added in. Now this mod also adds in some new structures around the world. Uh, this They are biome related and a lot of the different structures will have mob boss spawners in them. So what you've got to do is you've got to just jump on in here obviously go in prepared right click and it's going to spawn in one of the bosses for you to fight so we're going to go around have a quick look at a few of these and see what ones we can find and see what bosses will spawn in for us okay so we're at another one right now so let's see what this one has to hold for us wow this guy is scary looking he has quite a bit of health not as much as the last one and he he's just very very scary looking i wouldn't want to come across him but yeah, that is another structure. This one made out of never bricks by the looks of things. And they are, as I was saying, biome related. So let's see what else we can find. When traveling around the world, you will come across little structures like this with some chests on top. They don't have too much amazing stuff in them. But if you are low on food, they do have a few chests dotted around in them just to give you a little bit of an assist. And they are just a nice, cool, added feature, I think, to the world. Just that bit more to explore. It's just it's just a nice addition for me. Alright, so let's see what mob boss we get in here. I have a feeling this is the mummy, if I remember. No, the nameless king in here. So as you see, he is holding one of the weapons, one of the legendary boss weapons. So let's go, and I think I saw another structure over in this direction. So we are in one of the other new biomes now. They don't have any specific name that I can see related to the different biome types. But you can sort of tell the difference between colours. We're at a junction here so you have the original one we looked at over there. Or well, it's not the same one but you know it spawns in the same boss. Um, we have the one with the nameless king just over there. As you can probably tell they look different the structures so you can tell what mob boss you are going to be fighting and um, we'll go look at that one in a minute but we're about to look at this one right now see what mob boss this one spawns in for us but they are worth it guys to defeat them because they spawn in some amazing stuff okay this guy's got trapped in the wall stupidly somehow i have no idea how that's happened okay so we have the lorian elder prince this guy looks tough, but currently he has the lowest amount of health out of all the mobs we've seen. He has a pretty awesome looking sword, I must say. And he, did he spawn in a little bit of help? The Knight Lothric with Spear. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so let's go check out the one over here now. Okay, so this one has spawned in the Champion Gundra. A very, very mean looking giant like creature i would say almost zombified he looks awesome not my favorite of the appearance so far but does look pretty epic okay so i think this is the last boss altar to go to so this one has spawned us in the slave knight gale yet again oh actually one of the strongest ones to be fair that we've seen very 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 weird looking not not super much going on with him i must say oh whoa 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 what is is that him doing it or is he spawning okay okay very odd let's see if i can knock okay so he has spawned in some pain gills as a backup i really wondered what was going on with him for a second but he does look awesome but, yet again, not my favourite. He has some cool abilities though. But, let's go take a look at some of the other mobs in this mod. Okay, so let's take a few, take a look at a few of the mobs in this mod. We won't take a look at all of them as we won't have time. But here we have a frozen skeleton. We have an ancient ogre, which I do like the look of. There's a few ogre variants in this mod and this is my favourite. Then we have the mummy, a very stand vanilla looking type mob. Then we have another ogre type, as you can see. There's a bit of a difference between the ancient ogre and, I guess, the modern ogre, to be honest. Uh, but I still very much prefer this one. 
Okay, then we have the Brass Knight. You'll recognize his armor from looking at the armor sets earlier on. Then we have the Meat Golem, which has to be probably the creepiest looking mob out of this whole mod. Then we have the Ice Golem, actually, which is another boss um, which we haven't come across. But there you go, he's here now for you guys. Then we have Meter the Queen. Meet the Ruinous Queen, very, very scary looking mob as well, missing her head, that's, that's never good. And then finally we have this guy, probably your yeah, joint first place in Fear Factor, very, very creepy looking mob. But there you go guys, that is a look and overview of the Dark Souls mod for you today. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this mod have you downloaded it have you played it through i want to know your opinions about this mod as well as always guys thank you so much for watching until next time see ya